Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. Hi, I'm Charlie Romero from Roadfly.com. Welcome to this edition of Roadfly TV. We're on the beautiful Southern California coast outside Malibu, about to test drive the all new 2009 Mazda 6. Now, as you can see, Mazda's made a much larger vehicle out of the 6, and they've also given us a much more powerful V6 engine. In addition to that, we've got a lot of great new creature comforts, quality creature comforts on the interior of the new 6. Give me a minute, let's take you around the outside of the car, let me point out a few things to you, and then we'll head out to the road for a test drive. Mazda's brought a lot of great high-performance athletic styling cues to the new 6. Look at this wide front valence, front lower valence. It really shows a very wide stance to the vehicle. You've got very sort of sexy, dynamic uh, HID headlights, which are optional on the Grand Touring. You've got these very wide fender flares really sort of showing you a very muscular athletic stance. And then you've got those same fender flares in the back and the rear trunk lid sort of has a style that makes it look as though there's a spoiler built right into it. It sort of looks like a little duck fin, like a classic 911. Mazda introduced a brand new 3.7 liter V6 last year for their CX-9 SUV. Now they've remapped the engine torque and horsepower to meet the performance needs of the Mazda 6. It's a 272 horsepower 3.7 liter V6 that delivers 269 foot-pounds of torque. In addition to all the performance you get in the Mazda 6, you also get very distinctive styling. I mean, let's face it, the Camry's basically blonde, in some cases looks a little bit over-designed. The Altima's a very modern looking car. The new Accord is nice, but it's gotten so large, it's not really a small little Honda Accord that we all grew up with. And this package is really a very good package, and you get this exceptional styling, and you're not going to see a Mazda 6 at every stoplight. Because this is an all new Mazda 6, the chassis has been completely, the body has been completely redesigned. And it is much stiffer than the previous generation Mazda 6. And I imagine it's probably one of the stiffest bodies, one of the stiffest frames in its class just because of the amount of sportiness that Mazda expects to get out of the car. The Mazda engineer spent a lot of time working on reducing the torque steer on any front wheel drive car, all front wheel drive cars. Once you get over the 200 horsepower mark, they tend to have a lot of torque steer and that's when you floor the car and you feel the car veer off to one side. But what Mazda's done is they have put dampeners on both sides of the steering rack and they've also changed the way the suspension geometry and the mounting points of the shocks, uh, how they're mounted. So that has drastically reduced, if not almost completely eliminated, the torque steer. Mazda's put together a package of quality features that we're just not used to seeing in this class of car. We've got auto dimming mirrors, rain sensing wipers, we've got blind spot monitors, we've got seat memory. These are features that have typically only been found in the near luxury sedan class. And these are the same types of features that they built into this super successful CX-9 SUV. And once again, you know, I keep mentioning that vehicle, but Mazda's basically been on fire with some of the cars and, and SUVs they've built lately. And if they keep applying this formula, it's just more proof that they are gearing themselves up to be a really strong performer and a near category killer in the mid-size category. The gas mileage figures on our Grand Touring six-speed automatic transmission come in at 17 City 25 Highway. But if you opt for the inline four, you're going to get 21 City 35 Highway, which is a pretty impressive group of numbers. Now this car is the Grand Tour and it's outfitted the way I think a lot of people are going to want this car because it's such a value driven package and it includes navigation and a sunroof, moonroof and the Bose system and list price on this car is 28260 the cargo carrying capabilities of the new Mazda 6 are greatly improved for 2009. In addition to this huge trunk, we've got a 60-40 split rear seat. Pull the strap here and that releases the seats which flip forward giving you access to a much larger cargo area. 
Now the new Mazda 6 is about seven inches longer than the previous car. And I wanna show you something because about four and a half inches of that are basically in the leg room for the rear seat. Now I'm 6'3", I've got my driving position set in the front and I easily fit in the back seat behind me. So this means you can easily carry four passengers over six feet. Well, folks, it looks like Mazda's done it again. They've got a real winner on their hands in the new Mazda 6. They've put together a fantastic package. They've got size that we're looking for in a midsize sedan, easily fitting a family of four. They've got all the quality features, everything down from fit and finish to the way the leather feels when you sit in it, to the way the steering wheel feels when you grab it, and the ease of use of all the controls on the dashboard and the center stack. And they've made it all of this to a 3.7 liter V6, putting out 270 horsepower that easily gives you the best performance in its class. That's it for this edition of Roadfly TV. I really hope if you're looking for this size sedan that you do go out and test drive the new Mazda 6. You will not be disappointed. I'm Charlie Romero for Roadfly TV. We'll see you next time. Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.